Welcome to a presentation on border area development between the Malaysian state of Sarawak and the Indonesian province of West Kalimantan. The study supports development of the West Borneo Economic Corridor in the Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, East ASEAN Growth Area, or BMPAGA. International higher education refers to the enrollment of students in countries other than their home base. As such, the size of the sector is measured by the number of students that have crossed international borders to participate in post-tertiary or higher education activities. International student mobility flows are evolving rapidly North America and Western Europe have traditionally had the largest share of inbound students with 56% of the global market. East and Southeast Asia is the next most important region for inbound students with 18% of the global market. Central and Eastern Europe also rank fairly high for inbound students with 12% of the market. At the lower end are South and West Asia, the Arab states, Africa, Latin America, and Central Asia. East and Southeast Asia has the largest share of outbound students with 28% of the world total. North America and Western Europe also have a substantial share of outbound students with 15% of the total. Next in importance are Central and Eastern Europe, South and West Asia, and the Arab states each with 9 to 10 percent of the world total number of outbound students. At the lower end are Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, and Central Asia, each with 5 to 7 percent of the total number of outbound students. The major countries for outbound students are China, India, South Korea, Germany, Turkey, and France. China and India alone contribute nearly 30% of all outbound students. For inbound students, the major countries are the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, France, Germany, Russia, Japan, and Canada. In East and Southeast Asia, the countries that are emerging as leading destinations for international students are Malaysia and Singapore. There are several reasons why students travel abroad for their education. The most important one is a search for a better quality education than they could receive in their home country. Following closely behind is a desire to obtain exposure to an intercultural and globalized world. Next in importance is the desire to improve employment prospects. At the lower level of importance are, first, the likelihood of a better school environment, and second, preparation for work abroad. Malaysia is the fastest growing country with inbound students for higher education in East and Southeast Asia. It hosts nearly 125,000 foreign students in higher education which represents over 9% of total tertiary enrollment in the country. Malaysia now ranks ninth in terms of UNESCO's International Student Mobility Survey for top destinations in higher education. It's therefore useful to examine the factors that underlie the country's efforts to become Asia's regional hub for international students. The origins of foreign incoming students are mainly Bangladesh, Nigeria, China, Indonesia, Yemen, Pakistan, Iran, Libya, Iraq, India, and Sri Lanka. The 11th Malaysian Plan 2016-2020 underscores the need to better align knowledge, skills, and attitudes with industry requirements 
through academic and more technical and vocational education and training, or TVET, opportunities. To better understand government's efforts to make Malaysia the hub for international higher education in East and Southeast Asia, it's useful to focus on the Sarawak experience. Why? Because the state borders the Indonesian province of West Kalimantan, and both territories are part of the West Borneo Economic Corridor that aims to promote cross-border trade in goods and services. So the success of Sarawak in international higher education reflects onto West Kalimantan and the ability of students in that province to access those high-end educational facilities. The range of educational institutions in Sarawak is exemplified by Swinburne University, a private institution, University of Malaysia Sarawak, a public institution, and the Sarawak Skills Development Center, a TVET institution. The University of Malaysia Sarawak, or UNIMAT, is one of the top universities in East and Southeast Asia. Its research has gained worldwide recognition in three areas. First, biotechnological research in epidemiology, biogeography, and agriculture. Second, in information and communications technology, or ICT specifically in rural communications and image analysis, and third, biodiversity, natural resource, and environmental management. The university is located in Kota Samarakan, Sarawak, Malaysia, which is about 25 kilometers southeast of the state's capital of Kuching. It has eight faculties, 14,000 undergraduate students, and 1,400 postgraduate students. UNIMA has undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in Applied and Creative Arts, Cognitive Sciences and Human Development, Computer Science and Information Technology, Economics and Business, Medicine and Health Sciences, Resource Science and Technology, and Social Sciences. The University's particular strengths are in research areas of biodiversity and environmental con conservation, emerging tropical infectious diseases, ICT development, renewable and green energy, and industrial design. Australia's Swinburne University is ranked in the top 3% of universities worldwide. It has a campus in the Malaysian state of Sarawak that focuses on technology. The university campus in Sarawak is the highest ranking international university in Borneo based on the Asian Pacific University ranking by Times Higher Education. Moreover, Swinburne's Malaysian campus is rated as Tier 5 for Excellence under the Malaysian Qualifications Agency's rating system for Malaysian higher education institutions. Swinburne University of Technology campus is located in Kuching, the capital of Sarawak. The initiative behind the Sarawak campus is part of a long-term strategy by Swinburne Australia to globalize its operations and provide students with international living, working, and learning opportunities. The campus is situated in 16 and a half acres of land and is surrounded by a hospital, three modern shopping malls, commercial and housing areas, and public amenities. So student life at Swinburne's Malaysian campus is conducive to studies, conveniences, and a safe environment. The Sarawak campus has attractive fees as a result of the university's partnership with the Sarawak state government and a focus on financial sustainability rather than high profits. Also, 
the low cost of living in Kuching compares favorably with other cities in the world. Students at a Malaysian campus can opt to spend a semester at the Melbourne campus through the International Student Exchange Program or complete their degree at the Melbourne campus via flexible transfer options. The university maintains a close relationship with the private sector and industry to direct learning toward applications in the workplace. As a result, the university has achieved student placement of 100% in the jobs market. Sangwa Skills Development Center, also known as PPKS, is located in Kuching, and it provides technical and skills training programs for industries throughout the state. As a member of the Federation of the Malaysian Skills Development Centers, it works closely with the Economic Planning Unit of the Office of the President of Malaysia, the Ministry of Industrial and Entrepreneurial Development of Sarawak, and others. PPKS has 11 learning centers, over 3,400 students, and a staff of over 400. It has also partnered with overseas and local training centers and institutions of higher learning, including University of Malaysia Sarawak Unimas, to jointly conduct training courses and offer programs that enhance and upgrade skills and competences of employees in the private sector. Its skills programs include information technology, plantation management, automobile repair, graphics design, fashion design, industrial electronics, hotel management, culinary arts, nursing, civil engineering, and mechanical engineering. In addition to certification programs, PPKS offers degrees in Bachelor of Business Administration, specializing in e-commerce, and Bachelor in Software Engineering. West Kalimantan secondary school students are well aware of the wide-ranging opportunities offered to them by the higher education and TVET system in Sarawak. What would help them to gain access to those opportunities are improvements in the regulatory system within Malaysia. The reforms needed in the higher education system should address, first, delays in issuing visas and passes for international students, second, the complex requirements for international academic staff who already have accreditation in their home country, third, delays for the approval of academic programs, and fourth, numerous agencies involved in approving student visas, international staff working permits, and the introduction of programs by private higher education institutions. For TVET, there is a need to better align knowledge, skills, and attitudes with industry requirements, and to develop TVET services in the following areas. First, quality standards for both public and private TVET services. Second, industry guidance with curriculum design. Third, delivery and job placements. Fourth, attitude changes in how TVET is viewed by secondary school graduates deciding on career paths. Fifth, TVET's ability to attract students with high academic qualifications. And sixth, increased access to innovative industry-led training programs. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with industry-specific projects on cross-border value chains. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like below.